consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification right next to it thank you well let me let me sum it up so let, me, let me sum sum it up in in one thought i think ca cancel culture is dumb no matter which side of the side of the aisle is and so in my perspective there there are certain thresholds that people will ha have right everybody's threshold is different everybody's standards are different there are some things that if a company does something wrong in somebody's eyes they'll never touch their product and that's understandable i'm not i'm not nogging that because again you know my what somebody or a company or actually even then a company and a person are two different things so i would actually even uh place different standards on both of them and uh if people want to call me hypocritical that's that's a totally valid argument but anyways um if 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 we were to say cancel uh something or someone every time they saw something that they did wrong that they didn't like then we'd all would have to be canceled right and so what blizzard did or accused of doing let's just put it that way pretty bad and if they're found guilty to have done the things that they're being accused of then yeah they should definitely provide ways to compensate those employees Absolutely. especially the females yeah. employees because i think they're let's let's you know let's not let, let's be fair you know i'm pretty sure there was a lot of male uh, employees that were affected by this too but so whichever whoever was affected by this should be compensated by the fullest extent of the law that being said th would would i stop playing blizzard games only if they were to be arrogant enough to think that they've done nothing wrong and if in if the proof showed otherwise again key thing here is proof right so i'm not gonna jump on a outrage bandwagon and say you know uh burn everything down because everybody else is saying let's burn everything down like no like you have to show me the evidence i think the rational person you know a free thinking rational person would say that you know what what are the evidences suggest that blizzard is uh, doing what they're accused of and then you you know weigh the evidence and say to yourself well is this enough to deter me to never ever play blizzard again and for some people yeah that's yes and that's fine that that really that's completely fine for others it's not for me again it's it it, it just really depends on the compensation it really depends on how uh, uh what the steps that they do in order for that type of stuff doesn't ever happen again and if they legitimately change their uh environment such that you know that they're really trying then you know i could forgive them because i know i would be one i would want to be forgiven too if i royally screwed up you know at that at that same standard so again i i think i think too more often than not people are more prone to go either with zero to 100 it's either extreme right or extreme left and i don't even necessarily even mean that in a political context although you could uh put it in a political context i just mean just two sides of whatever discussion that you're having there's and and, and even then there is a logical fallacy that where if you constantly pick the middle that of in itself can be a fallacy too i get it but i think a lot of these times you just gonna have to have compromise and be like okay well if you never want to play ever world of warcraft again because of this happened like gr great for you you know you you have standards and you're gonna if you're gonna stick by those guns so be it right uh but is this gonna deter me from playing say diablo 3 when it finally comes out no probably not probably not unless again they decided you know what we did nothing wrong when the evidence suggests otherwise then i'd be like okay maybe maybe i shouldn't give them my money then so yeah i think i think this is just speaks more volumes to the whole cancer culture that we have unfortunately but from what i can tell so far and again this is uh prone uh or, or this is um subject to change as more as we get more evidence so far it does seem like the work yeah. environment in blizzard does in, yep. does strongly indicate that what these employees had to go through does seem to be true it, you know and there yeah. and there seems to be a lots of good testimony to support that um accusation Agreed. so uh but again it could uh, again unless it it goes to court or there's other substantial evidence that a lot of these employees are just full of it maybe uh i don't know it could go both ways that that opinion is subject to change so i'll just leave it at that before i dig myself we, into a bigger hole we live in a society that you're innocent to proven guilty right because someone accuses you doesn't mean you're guilty exactly there has to be evidence and backing up you're right more and more evidence coming out that looks like and even today i saw an article off of massive elp where bobby kotek who's the ceo of activision blizzard basically said they were their initial response was tone deaf and a lack, a lack of empathy. So things are making changes there. 
Now, I happen to work for a company that makes airplanes. And, of course, we had very much a serious problem a couple of years ago with some airplanes crashing. And the what ended up happening was that this, the CEO of, of Boeing got axed. A head had to roll somewhere, okay? And so that was a visible sign that things were changing. And with all that also that's going on this past year, there's also been much of a, very much of a push to making sure that they are adhering to everything that's, that they're supposed to be adhering to, court of the law, with regards to equal opportunity and employment, okay? And so I think that if Blizzard may end up very well, Activision Blizzard may end up having to see some heads roll, okay? I right. mean, I mean, maybe Bobby Kotick and maybe Jay Allen Brack and then putting new fresh blood in there might change something. But you're right. The biggest thing is that we have a lot of people there who are working there who are good, innocent people mm-hmm. who never did anything wrong. Pump, nip, I'm hoping never saw anything, okay? But so they would, it could have spoken up. And they're going to get punished for this. And I don't want them to get punished for this. And the games are out there. They've been out there. The games aren't the same thing. I mean, we know that in history, when it comes to music, art, books, wherever it is, there are a lot of good art, music, books, whatever. And you look about the actual authors and the artists and the composers, they are the most awful, reprehensible people on the face of the planet. So we separate who they are from their works. Okay, so we want to maybe hopefully we can separate the, all the things that Blizzard did from the people who are running it. But yeah, it's 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 not it's not over yet, obviously. And I think you're right. I mean, I'm not I'm not installed Battle.net yet, but I'm playing WoW right now. I still want to play Diablo through to Resurrected because I they, they put out, that was done by a separate studio. Okay, a separate studio was working with Blizzard to do this. And so if we're, if we're not going to buy it, that studio gets hurt by it. Right. You know, the repercussions, the, the fallout that happens from it. So, like, I'm almost inclined to think I would still buy Diablo 2 Resurrected. But I All think, right, I, really quick, I think that was actually a really good anal- or, um, point. Separating the art from the artist. Like, I wish I thought of that, Dad. Thank, so thank you for reinforcing. <laughs> the beard of knowledge. Beard of knowledge, indeed, for All sure. Right.